Hi, I'm Mark Brooks, and welcome to my channel. Uh, I'll be cooking for dinner. Uh, it's going to be uh, oven baked uh, salmon on top of uh, slow cooked vegetables. That is, uh, we'll be cooking this uh, one and a half quart slow cooker, and the uh, salmon will be uh, oven baked in a uh, frying uh, tin. So we'll go ahead and get started with. Uh, setting up the uh, slow cooker. First thing I'm going to do is put one of these uh, Reynolds uh, slow cooker liners in the uh, pot which simplifies cooking, simplifies cleaning. You don't have to clean the pot after you're done. The cleaning pot can be very tedious. We'll go ahead and get this in. Unfold it. It's a large uh, nylon heat resistant bag which goes directly into the uh, pot. And then next we'll add the uh, pinto beans. Okay, here I measured out a half a cup of uh, pinto beans. I'm going to strain it and wash it out first. And then place it into the uh, pot. And I'll add about two uh, cups of water to that. Again, about two cups should do it. And of course, using the scissors, I'll cut away the excess liner just to make it make it easier for you to see how I'm working. So we're going to allow these beans to soak overnight. Then we'll add the uh, marinade sauce, and uh, we'll peel a potato and slice it and, and put it in. And what needs to be done overnight is we'll take out a, a frozen piece of salmon, become frozen of course, and we have to thaw it overnight. That is, that is out of the frozen bag and into the refrigerator will be left overnight to thaw. And that comes next. Now it's been overnight. Next step is to add about one fourth of a cup of uh, this uh, teriyaki and marinade. So. Using a half cup, I'll measure out half of it, half of that, or one quarter of a cup, as clarified on the screen. Mix that in with the uh, pinto beans, which have been soaking overnight. The next, I will uh, peel and slice this potato and add that in. Okay, now this potato has been peeled and sliced, we'll add that in. And we're going to uh, slow cook for uh, about eight hours on uh, the uh, lo low setting. You notice this uh, slow cooker has three uh, heat settings, low, heat high, and keep warm, which gives the most versatility in whatever you're cooking. And I highly recommend you use that. So eight hours later, we'll be adding in other vegetables. Keep on watching. Okay, now it's been uh, about eight hours, I saw the potatoes and pinto beans are now very tender, so now I have the temperature set down to warm to keep the, uh, to keep it warm to uh, maintain heat. Next I'm gonna add some uh, shredded carrots. And a mix of uh, asparagus, uh, tomato, and portobello mushrooms, or any vegetables you choose to use. Uh, doesn't that doesn't have to matter? Filling it up. And then after that, I want to add some uh, grated cheese to it. Some grated cheese. Add some good flavor to it. Let that uh, sit while I'm uh, baking the salmon, which is next. Okay, now with the vegetables in place, uh, waiting to cook, <coughs> next step is to prepare the uh, salmon to uh, bake it in the oven. First thing I'm going to do is uh, coat this roasting tin with some oil. It's a small, small size tin. And a, uh, you also come with a uh, 
foil cover. We'll put this foil cover over it after I put the salmon in. Comes out of the bag. Next, I'm going to uh, cover the salmon with uh, ground pepper and chives. And of course, pepper and then some chives. And yeah. The oven is preheated to 450 degrees. Put so a foil cover on. And then we'll uh, place it in the oven for uh, 12 minutes. And then while it's cooking, we'll set the timer on this uh, microwave. It has a kitchen timer. So I can set the uh, time I wanted to, 12 minutes, and start it, and I'll count down. The, the oven simply will not operate, so we'll be waiting out until it times out. Okay, time's up, 12 minutes. So we'll, next we'll take the, uh, the salmon out of the oven. Looks well done, well appetizing. Next we'll um, serve the vegetables. Vegetables are well done, that cheese is well melted in. Stir it up a bit, so. May put it on the plate. I want to point out why I added the vegetables later instead of, added, instead of putting them in the same time I put in the uh, beans and potatoes. I want to cook them. I want to cook them less, a little over temperature, less time, so they keep their color and also preserve their vitamins and enzymes that get lost when uh, during long-term cooking. So it really is very, you know, very colorful, colorful looking. Next we'll uh, add the uh, salmon to it. Out of the tin and onto the vegetables. And look at that, very uh, ready to eat. Now it's time to sample how it tastes. Try the salmon first. It's well done, very delicious. Try the vegetables, vegetables, potatoes, and beans, and the way they come out. It's so good. Cool. Mm. Very good. Very delicious. I hope you have enjoyed this video and what I and what how I did and how I did it. So I'd like hope you hopefully you'll give the same recipe a try. So again, I'm Art Brooks and thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.